What am I gonna do? I can't afford to pay my bills this month after that goddamn robbery unless I make a truly impactful video. A video that will be a revolution. A video that will blow everyone away. A video about a super popular topic that everyone will be interested in. But what? Oh, I know! Oh, my beloved, my beloved Hotel for Dogs. This is it. This is the ticket to YouTube fame. Yes, this, this will blow everyone away if I talk about it on my channel. I'll expose so many people to this underrated and underappreciated masterpiece. And who knows, maybe I'll even start a revolution with a great association, a great confederation, a great assembly of people who also understand the true artistic genius of this film, this kino, this movie. Work of art. Yes, you've done it again, Walter. You've done it again. <laughs> Strange that my copy's in such bad condition, though. I mean, I wonder what's up with that. I mean, all my other DVDs look pristine, but this one, well, it looks like it was sold at a hotel for dogs. Hmm. There must be some answers that I can find on the trusty internet. So. Out. All right. Why is my copy of Hotel for Dogs damaged? Oh my god. This movie is highly sought after and one of the rarest movies ever created because of government interventions and international condemnation? What? It's Hotel for Dogs. Well, I guess that means one thing. This is the disturbing movie they don't want you to know about. That they're trying to hide from you. The kind of movie no one else on YouTube's got the guts to tell you about. Got the... I can't say that or also get demonetized to tell you about. But I do. So here's the unfiltered truth. This is the movie that the government don't want you to know about. Long ago in the year 2009, a film was released. One that simply couldn't go by normally. You see, back in this ancient time of young people actually using Facebook and NBC sitcoms being funny instead of literal parasites on the face of TV, things weren't recorded as well. We have to go off of a very small amount of information, but from what I've seen, this is what happened. The film was released to incredible praise, receiving the first ever 101% on Rotten Tomatoes. Due to the beloved status of the film, people who didn't even normally qualify as critics broke the website with their positive feedback, and it seeped into the overall approval rating, becoming a true anomaly that the website has since tried to cover up. The film's legendary status was further shown by the fact that it was the number one movie at the box office, period. It grossed a whopping one trillion dog dollars, for which the conversion rate is about seven human dollars per dog dollar. So this was really impressive. However, the French soon found out about this. Infuriated that the art form that they had pioneered in the early 20th century had reached its peak with the dog-based comedy starring Don Cheadle, who later won an Oscar for his role as Bernie the Adoption Agent, they sought to destroy every single copy in existence. But... They missed one, so let's talk about the movie that the French decided you all should not be allowed to see. 
Oh, hold on. <laughs> I got a Discord call. Let's see what this person has to say. Do not go down this path, Walter. It will only end in pain for you. Wait a minute. Who the hell are you? You better not be one of those French people trying to take away my copy, because I'm not giving it up. By the way, if you're French and watching this, please, for the love of God, do not be offended. I'm only doing this to make fun of Studio Canal, who are a French movie studio who made me take away part of my Evil Dead review because of a copyright claim. I mean, nothing against you guys. Okay, great, good. I swear, I'm only looking out for you. Oh gosh, gotta run. Well, that was weird, but hey, I don't care. I'm not gonna listen. Because when someone in a hood over the internet with a weird voice tells you to do something, you never do it. Right? Oh well, who cares? It's time to review the most forbidden, controversial movie of all time. Back away, Last Temptation of the Christ. This is some real contraband. Hotel for Dogs follows... Hang on, wait a minute. Isn't it weird that you can't see any footage from the movie on screen right now? I told you, you fool! They are coming for you now. Oh god. The French. Oh sure, Germany boy. I am so sorry, but I simply cannot allow you to review such a disgusting film. Such a vile abomination. Such an obscene offense. For the people of France. Whoa! Dude! Uh, hey! Hey! You know, your country made martyrs, okay? And you want to get upset over Hotel for Dogs? I think that's, you know, a little bit of, a, of, a, of an overreaction, you know, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree with me there? <laughs> you do not understand true art, you fool! The American film industry will continue to suffer as we make incredible works of masterpiece art because you cannot fully release your silly dog related comedies. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I think we both understand true art. You're just too scared to face it. Is. 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 That the Necronomicon artist Ex Morbius? If a book containing information on that other forbidden film. That's right. It may be a bad book with a bad message and an even worse author. But I found it's actually a pretty useful weapon. How is that even possible? Well, since it's endorsed by Donald Trump, it actually devours any French person who it comes into contact with. Yeah, it's true, guys. Anything endorsed by Donald Trump will devour any French person who touches it. It's, it's a fact, all right? I think it actually stems from his rocky relationship with Emmanuel Macron. But hey, this is not my series about geopolitics, so let's cut to the chase, shall we, Studio Canal? You actually are wrong, which means I should be horrified right now! Oh! oh thy life is ruined! Uh, you will not get away with this! I will copyright strike your ass to hell! Yeah, I'm sure you will. And let this be a PSA to any French people out there. Do not buy and use a my pillow. I mean, it will eat you whole, I swear. Although, to be honest, I don't think that message is really that important. I mean, how many French people want to buy a my pillow? How many people want to buy a my pillow? I mean, have you legitimately ever seen someone buy and use one of those things? Like, I'm not trying to make a political statement here. I just don't know of anyone who I've ever met or heard of who has actually bought a my pillow. I should call this. Strange figure back, shouldn't I? You survived? Yes, I mean, I'll probably get a copyright strike by the vengeful spirit of the movie studio, but they are defeated for now. Good. Very good. Yeah, I suppose the threat is handled for now. I'm really sorry, though. I should have listened to you and not reviewed that movie. 
Well, I suppose now it doesn't matter. You can discuss it now without having to look over your shoulder. I guess I could. But first, who are you exactly? Do you really want to know? More than anything. Here you go, then. Oh my good lord, it was you! Oh my god! This is incredible. This is incredible. Now the true value of American cinema can be spread worldwide and people can finally know once again how amazing Hollywood is. Wait, what's that? Oh, writers and actors are striking because Hollywood executives are so evil and greedy that they're causing the entire movie industry of America to collapse? Oh. Well, I suppose some problems are just too big for myself and one spaghetti-eating dog to handle. I understand. Thank you, sir. Oh god, Hollywood agents are after me after I supported the writers! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 Is this Malak the Nun? What do you mean you're just a normal nun? What do you mean you're just the Pope?